Good morning, you guys. I'm gonna be chatting with you about relationships gone bad. When you start to hear that you're too good enough, you never hang out with us anymore, you're too focused on your goal, I'm gonna to talk to you about why this is happening and how it's actually your fault. <laughs> so this is gonna help you in a really good way, I promise you, so stick around for that. My name is Heather Quizzle. I help women in relationship-driven businesses to get the confidence, the focus, and the mindset game to level up their business and level up their life. I just got home late last night from the Oregon coast. I met 33 other amazing entrepreneurs, uh, big dreamers, and big doers on the coast. We had two ginormous homes that bunked all of us right on the ocean in Lincoln City. Just stinking amazing. So I'm still riding the high of that experience. I see some of you on here this morning. Jessica, I was glad to get your text last night that you got home. Amy, I know you got home last night. So good to see you guys here. So let's dive into this. Let me get a quick drink. I have come across, as you may too, in my life, both as a woman, as a human, as a business owner, as a person that has goals, and I've always got goals, there comes a time in the life of a friendship where you may start to feel or notice discomfort from your friend. Okay, this discomfort will, this friendship will start to feel awkward. It will, it may start to feel um, forced, and you may be blamed for much of it, right? You may be misunderstood. You might be feeling like, I didn't do anything. I don't understand what happened. And I was just sharing this this weekend with my team at the coast. Um, I shared this um, last week again um, in one of my intimate training groups. And it's something that I just believe in. So, you know, it's so easy. If you look up like friendship quotes on Pinterest, you get all of these snarky, like, I thought we were friends and now I know true colors, right? And it's so easy to be like, I don't know what happened here. And here's what I have come to believe. And here's how I've come to um, tell myself and coach those around me through these friendship breakups. When you are in a friendship with another human being, what happens is you have this um, unspoken code between you, okay? You have this unspoken rule that, hey, we just entered this friendship and I entered this friendship with you knowing you this one way and I expect you to hold to that. And I came into this relationship knowing you this one way and I expect you to hold to that. So there's this expectation of what this relation is founded on and as long as we hold to code, everything's fantastic. Well, what I find in for, for me in business, having goals, having dreams, and somebody who is new to business, I noticed this when I first jumped into business, boy oh boy did I feel this a lot. I jumped into business, I started listening to different things, I started watching television differently, I stopped um, engaging in certain activities, certain conversations. Like all of a sudden I had bigger goals. I was starting to see the world differently. I wanted more. And what happens there is, boom, I broke code. And yes, it can. It, we can call it outgrowing people. We outgrow them. But I want you to understand from the friend that we outgrow, the friend that um, isn't ready to come with, I want you to understand how they're feeling and why they're attacking you in this way, okay? Because it's easy to say, oh, they're jealous, they're just jealous, they don't get it, or they just wanna play small, and you know, it's, it's easy to, to kind of kind of bash them for not wanting to go with you, for not wanting more, for not understanding. But if we understand that when you grow, and you should as a human, you should act, absolutely continue to grow as a human, when you grow, you will notice these growing pains, and this person right here, you just broke code with. We had an established relationship, you were gonna be this way, you just broke it by growing. <laughs> 
but you broke code with this person. And so now this person is hurt. They are angry. They are confused. Um, they don't know what to do. And so it starts coming out as blame. Um, it starts coming out negative. And what I have found that for me in best like healing my own heart because we get hurt, right? When we are misunderstood is I have allowed and, and kind of coached and come to this belief that knowing it's my fault. It's my fault. I broke code. I broke code on the relationship. Now this person is hurting and when hurting, when people are hurting, they hurt other people, right? They, they, they just can't help it. It's just, the, it's just a natural human response. So if you can kind of look back and understand if you're in one of these kind of breakups right now, or you've recently been through one, or I know that you can think of one right now, just understand, girl, that you broke code on your friend. And and what I, it just softens my heart, and I, and I can look at this friend um, that's hurting and, um, you know, kind of lashing and not understanding. I can look at that friend and go, oh man, girl, I broke code on you. You know, I, you don't say this, but it's something in your heart, like I broke code on you, I get it, I know you're hurting, I'm so sorry. And one of our amazing gals this weekend said, it's like that bless and release. You know, bless and release, bless the person, like I'm so sorry, you know, you say this in your head, I'm so sorry, I, I loved our friendship, thank you for what we had, but I gots to go, but I gots to go. And so you bless and you release. You release any animosity, you release any pain, hurt, um, whatever that may feel like for you. So I hope I hope this helps I hope this helps you you. If you are a goal-oriented person, if you are diving into goals in any way, shape, or form, you are always gonna experience this in friendships. Understand that you play a big part and you are to blame in that way. And, and if we can look at it this way, we can understand where the hurt's coming from. And, and it, it's just always allowed me to walk away stronger. What you don't wanna do is stay back, is stay with them where they are, because now you know life is bigger. Now you know there's more out there. Now you know something you didn't know before. To come back is just gonna create more animosity, more uncomfortableness, um, more negativity. There's no other way, once you break code, there's no other way but to go. You got to go. So my friends, for what that is worth for you today, uh, big aha for me, the bless and release. Um, understand when you break code, that's, uh, that's going to be how it sounds, how it feels, and it is okay. It is okay when I say you're to blame. It's just to let's not put the blame on the other person and say, well, they're mean-spirited, they're negative. They Let's just understand I broke code on them. They're hurting. I get it. All right, friends, love your hearts, love your guts, and I'll see you next time. Mwah.